Hi there, I'm Kevin O'Connor from this old house, and this is War Road, Minnesota. It's just a few miles south of the Canadian border, and it is a town known for its ice fishing and its hockey. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to check out a unique window manufacturer. And you don't have to go to some big industrial city for that. You just have to come all the way up here and meet the fine craftspeople who have been perfecting windows for generations. Over a hundred years ago, a fellow named George Marvin bought a lumber yard here in War Road. It was a family affair, and soon his son was involved. And with that, the company that we today know as Marvin Windows and Doors was born. Today, Marvin has over 2.2 million square feet of space in this factory alone, where they make thousands of custom windows and doors. The company has grown dramatically, but only because of the commitment of the people here in War Road. On this wall are pictures of families, each with four generations or more, who work here at Marvin. The director of Operations here at the plant is Mike Steele. Mike, good to see you. Nice to see you as well, Kevin. So what is the story with all of these people here in town? I mean, it seems like it's almost a family affair with the workers. It really is, Kevin. Um, this is really uh, more than just a job here. It's a way of life. It's just a good thing to be around. Cool. All right. Well, I want to learn how these windows are made. So where does the process all start? All right, follow me. We'll go over to our wood processing area. OK, Kevin, this is the beginning of our process. This is our rip saw area. We start with raw lumber, which is conveyed down to this, this scanning area, where we have an operator that looks at every piece of lumber and makes the proper decision on the optimal width that we should have for each cut. I can see him literally putting laser lines on each one of these boards. That's picking the width of the cut piece? He is. It goes down to be cut to that desired width. Next step, we bring our cut stock to this location where we have a CNC quick change molder cutting our parts down to their final tolerancing. Incredibly tight tolerances on this machine and very good finishes. And what part of the window is coming out of here? This is a casing. So now we take the casing over to our quality control check station. We'll Please. do a quick check. Yep. Make sure our parts are in tolerance. We've got a couple digital calipers here. So this is just a random piece he's pulled off the line? It is, it is. Nice. Okay. When he's done with this check, we store this data, so we always have it for good statistical control. Cool. Every great finish starts with great prep work. Here in our sanding area, we spend a lot of time making sure that we do things right. Very little compromise here. So you've got an automatic sanding machine here. That's correct. This machine will adjust to each one of these profiles. Really? That's right. So you can do this profile, and then right after that, you can do this one? That's correct. We have thousands of profiles and every one of them is adjusted. So does every piece of woodwork that gets sanded come through this machine? Well, not everyone. Sometimes the capabilities of this machine have its limitations as well. In that case, we do things the old-fashioned way. Okay, here we are at our hand standing station. As you can see, this profile is very tricky. Really, there's no way to get this with an automated machine. To, to do this properly, we're going to have to hand sand this. Now here's one of our glazing stations, a very important part of the window building process. So we're going to apply the glazing silicone at this, this point. You can see with this, a little bit of an example here, strong stuff. Years of technology have gone into uh, just getting the perfect material for this process. She's got herself a little uh, gun there on the XY axis that so she can just move around. That's correct. Helps the operator ergonomically sound. Yeah. Here's our glass light right here. So you got two panes of glass. You got a little bit of a tint on that. That's correct. That's correct. So now the sash will come down to this point where the aluminum cladding will be applied. We'll put that cladding through this uh, press. 80 pounds of pressure seals the product. So this is just pushing it down nice and uniform across that's, the entire surface. That's correct. See one done right there. Oh, you look at the beautiful yep. oval one that you got here. Yeah, many shapes. Oh, so this is interesting. You've got a little bit of a, an overspill of your silicone there that he's got to scrape off. 
That's very much by design. It's a critical part of the quality of the window. Yeah. We prefer to know that we've had enough in and clean off, and we do that on 100% of our windows. If you see it ooze out, you know you've got that seal that you need? That's correct, we want that. Nice. Yep. Okay, this is our casement area. We're looking at our framing assembly right now. So he just snapped that together. He Where's did. it getting fastened? So now it's gonna go down to this machine that's going to basically true it up, get it nice and square, drive in the nails and the screws, and at that point you're gonna have a good solid frame. Okay, now we got ourselves a nice frame put together. Let's take a quick look at it. As I mentioned earlier, this is where we inject the silicone. We get a nice fill in there, it gets a nice seal on this on this window frame. Yeah. Another thing about this product that's really important to know is this step joint here. This really allows this to go together in really nice fit. You guys prefer that to the miter which might slip and slide Ab on you? Absolutely. We've a lot of engineering into this. Locks right in there nice and square. That, that's right. Okay, well we're almost at the end of the journey. We've got the frame here. Now we're going to install the sash. The two of them coming together. That's nice. That's right. So even though these guys are doing an installation, they're also inspecting as they go? Absolutely. They're hooking up the hinges, taping it off. So as they're continuing this process, we'll take a walk down here. This is the final hardware assembly. Oh, nice. So now we're going to go ahead and make sure on this easel line that everything's in place that needs to be. It's a great place for visual inspections. I mean, in this case, you've mulled how many together? Three at least, maybe even uh, six, right? Yeah, we have. It's a big opening. Yeah, it is. It is a big opening. We're starting to see a lot more windows this size. Yep. Okay, now we're at our final inspection stage. What is she looking for here? She's looking for any sort of imperfections with the window at this stage. It could be scratches, dents, anything that uh, we wouldn't want to have sent out to our customer. If this were an operating window, she'd also be checking for functionality. Right. And what can she say fix here versus uh, would cause this to be shipped back? To all the of line? our all of our employees are trained to understand to the extent that they can fix these issues. She will fix what she can. If she can't, we'll send it back to the appropriate line where right. the professionals there will work on it. What strikes you after a day in War Road is what's missing from this very modern factory: robots. There are plenty of sophisticated machines here, but what makes this place different are the skills of the talented craftspeople, the Marvin family of workers. Everyone's a quality control expert dedicated to making a great product. That follows through all the way to the shipping department. This is the loading dock, but it's certainly not the end of the line. We're loading these windows into our trucks where our drivers are gonna take them to our customers and unload them themselves. Just, unload them, huh? That's right, just to make sure they're handled the way they nice. need to be. Wow, so I mean it is obvious that you guys pay attention to every detail right down to the final one. All along the way. We All want right. that window showing up to the customer just the way they, they would like it. We pay particularly close attention to quality at all phases of building our window. There's no part of this window where we don't stop to scrutinize, looking for ways to improve and are constantly, vigilantly checking to make sure these windows are right. As great as the window looks from the outside, what may be even more impressive is what you don't see on the inside.